Hey everyone and welcome back. If you're new around here, we are Jack and Joe, two nature obsessed explorers and their little canine co-pilot Frank. We were on a big trip with no end date, traveling the world and this our tiny home on wheels. For the past few months we've been exploring the Balkans and this week we were in Croatia, home to stunning coastlines and islands and spectacular national parks. In this video we take you to two of the country's most famous islands, Millet and Havar, as we seek to show you some beautiful wild parts of the world to serve as inspiration for your next trip. So, click subscribe and follow along with these wild journeys in Croatia. A windy one today. Hello. Welcome back. We are in Croatia. After a week in Montenegro, we arrived last night. We hot-footed it straight to an island called Millet because we're going to spend the next week and a half um, island hopping around some of Croatia's most beautiful islands. Uh, the weather's not too great today. It's a bit windy, but we're on Millet because we've actually been before about eight years ago and yeah. we loved it so much. It's Croatia's most tr tree-filled island. Most tree-filled island, which I think it's a national park, yeah. it's beautiful, and uh, cars are banned around the national park area. So we're gonna drive close-ish to there and then we're gonna actually get the bikes out for the first time in bloody ages yeah. and show you this beautiful island. We hit the road and then get on our bikes. Yeah. See you in a second. The noble steeds are all ready. We haven't ridden it. Joe, we haven't ridden these in four months. So it's not my fault if the wheels fall off. They've been battered and bruised in the, in the boot of our van. Yeah, and if you haven't seen how we transport Frank past the cycle, get ready for it. Right, Frank, you love this backpack. You know you do. So we're in. Sun's, sun, I reckon the sun's breaking through, Joe. It was £7.50 each for entrance to the National Park. Isn't too bad. Feels quite empty windy today so you might not be able to hear me it was definitely windy that day so everything i said after that was lost in our microphone so let me pick this up from here the best way to explore the national park section of Millier is by bicycle or walking we'd 100 percent recommend a cycle here if only locals are allowed to drive on these roads in the national park it means they're very quiet and you get to see plenty of the national park including the famous saint mary's monastery 12th century christian building built on an island within a lake on the island of Millet. Millet Adventure Part 2, Take 2, Adventure Edition, Action. Frank, you're walking this time, mate. You happy about that? Or do you want to get back on the backpack? So the walk we're doing is up to Montecook. Montecook. Really nice. The, high, the best viewpoint that you can get the whole Millet Islands. Um, so we did a circle on our bikes. And now we're after a little pit stop in the van. We're gonna walk up to the viewpoint. Oh, lovely bit of nature. You right, bud? Nice and Frank stretches legs as well. Yeah, really hot. This weather can't make his mind up. One minute it's like windy and a bit cold. Now the sun's fully out. Jack says we've come on a walk. It's a hike. It's definitely a hike. A hike is like multi hours. This is a walk 2.1 kilometers, maybe 2.5 from the car park. Yeah, but it's uphill. It's a lot. The air is thin. It's not thin. <sighs> the air is not thin. <laughs> Near the top. Kind of goes from a really nice path to a really like overgrown path. Oh! And I think I agree with Joe. Joe, it's definitely a hike. Yeah, it's not a walk. It's a hike. <laughs> I 
Wow. I was not expecting this view up here, were you? How cool is that? <laughs> Without the happy I'm alone hiking dogs. Probably the most active day we've had in a very long time. I'm actually Fulfilled. I'm so tired. I'm so sunburnt. <laughs> We're so windswept. Look at our hair. See you tomorrow. That was 17 kilometres, no, 12 kilometre cycle. Yeah, and then... What? Seven kilometre walk, I reckon, all together. Hike, hike, hike. hike. We're, no. we went really high up. Yeah, I was up as well. Yeah. Anyway, see you tomorrow. That was an awesome day on Mill Yet. Bye. Bye. After a tiring, full-on day exploring the main national park area of Mill Yet, we woke to a beautiful blue sky day with plans to see a bit more of the island before we headed on to our next destination. As Joe said earlier, this whole island is one of Croatia's greenest, with dense forests of Aleppo pine and olive trees. It's home to plenty of animals, from birds, bats, lizards and wild boar, to corals, crustaceans and sea creatures. It's also home to a famous Greek legend, with rumours that Milet is the island that Odysseus was shipwrecked on. He swam to a cave with beautiful turquoise water and met a beautiful nymph called Calypso. Captivated by her beauty, he spent the next seven years living in said cave. To get to this legendary cave involves a short drive and a short walk, along paths adorned of wildflowers and through olive tree plantations. In the peak season, there's a bar that serves you refreshing drinks at the aptly named First Aid Station, while it's also a great place to enjoy a refreshing cliff dive. If you're brave enough, that is. Where's your first spot? My first jump? It's too cold to do more than one jump, isn't it? Oh. Well, do you reckon I should go big for my first jump and just call it quits? <laughs> or should I do a tester jump first? Tester jump first, I can jump up here and then, and then I'll jump off that bit there. Okay. Yeah. You, you can do this, is the whole point of that beach ride, that you come here and you can do cliff jumping. There's numbers here, there's like number two, three, four, and five is massive at the top of the cave. We'll find out, won't we, once you've had your jump, you're well, allowed we'll you can do it. Well, I'll be doing number five, give it. We probably won't film number five, but just so everyone knows I've done number five. Yeah, oh. definitely. Should I do it? Okay. Three. Watch out, because Frank's going to run and he'll yeah. mess up the job. Okay. You know, I'm just worried about you rather than me. Three, two, one, do it! said you saw an eel in here. <laughs> I did, I saw a massive eel. <laughs> There's lots of little fish at the top. Yeah. I don't think I have to go big, because I won't do it again. Big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> days in Mill a couple of days actually. We're now back on the ferry and the best bit about the ferry is that you can stay in your van once it goes over. So I'm gonna jump in the back and chill out. Joey's already back there. Frank, you can't go outside mate. There is nowhere for you to wait if you go outside. Yeah, see you on the Croatian mainland. Campsite, but no one's around. And we spoke to someone, they were just like, Yeah, you can just park anywhere. The guy said, It's all good, so maybe we'll come around tomorrow. We'll see how much it's going to cost us. But 
The view is amazing. Yeah. Like surrounded by wildflowers and palm trees. Couldn't get better than that. We spent a good few days on this campsite catching up some work and studying. With an incredible view of the sea, it was worth the slightly expensive 23 euro a night fee. And to make things better, because it was off season, we had this beach and surrounding area all to ourselves. Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Last time we saw you, we were on an awesome campsite based around, well, based on the sea, and it was an amazing place to spend. How long did we spend there? Uh, three nights. Three nights, and it was just lovely, just chilling out. We got some work done. We then went to split. We had a thunderstorm, and we also had an earthquake last night. Yeah. Um, so after split, we didn't really see much of it. Um, we've headed to Havar, which is uh, an island famous for yachting and partying. Which obviously is completely us. We're pretty big players. <laughs> <laughs> but also like big, beautiful beaches um, and really nice like historic old towns. So we're going to go check that out. This morning we went to... Starigrad. Starigrad, which was like mm. a really... Yeah, it was like a... Starigrad? Yeah. Starigrad? Yeah. yeah. Starigrad, which is like a small kind of sleepy town on the top of Havar. Really nice like really little streets pretty. to walk around. Um, but we're now in Havar town, which is... Uh, I think all two different. It's quite posh, quite, you know, upmarket, which I've got a shirt on. I'm not looking upmarket. Oh, it's okay. You're going to be taking that jumper off in about two seconds because the hot. sun's come out. <laughs> but yeah, from our town, let's go check it out and then we'll find our spot for the night as well. Let's go. Havar Town is a picturesque port town with incredible views, winding alleyways, clear blue seawater and a reputation as an upmarket party town for yachtings. Why do we know this? Because we have an unhealthy obsession with a trashy TV program called Below Deck. However, if you scratch further below the surface, you'll likely be surprised by this little port town. It has more than just its reputation as a boozy party island, with interesting architecture and history and plenty of beautiful places to sit and get away from the crowds. We spent the day poshing it up, eating pizza and trying to spot obscenely priced super yachts. Here he comes. Why do you have to do these on rocks? Frank! What do you think of the park up, Frank? Frank? Do you approve? It's got a beach. It's got a sea. I never see a cute dog coming along. A cute dog coming. You love cute dogs. Go on. Get the haircut, mate. The most favourite thing that we do when we get to a beautiful picturesque park up. Put the kettle on and have a hot drink. How very British of us. Like a two up for a hot drink. No, I'm gonna have a coffee, it's gonna be delightful. Mate, look at that view. Are you ready for something that should be a trademark? Uh, Brew with a view. I'm pretty sure someone's probably already done that. Oh. Okay. Thumbs up for a brew with a view. Good morning. We had a lovely night's sleep next to the sea. It's a bit stormy today, but we've been for a nice little morning walk. Feeling invigorated actually from the rain and wind. Um, which is probably a weird thing to say, but it's just lovely. Nature is good for you. Nature is good, yeah. Getting a good good dose of vitamin C. Uh, yeah, that's literally the joke. <laughs> um, what are we doing today, Joe? You literally just told me and I've completely forgotten. Great. Yeah. 
It's really nice actually, Havar. I had this picture of Havar in my head of being like this big, like, I don't know, just not this, right? It's this. this. Yeah, just like drink, like, you know, it's actually a bag, that's fine, but. It is sometimes our bag, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, like, actually, there's so much more to the island. Yeah, it's actually beautiful and still quite wild, a bit like Millet, the desert wildness. And this coastal path, beautiful. Rugged. After that stormy walk, the sun came out and we headed back into Havar town for a final mooch, a few drinks, and ended it with another good night's sleep by the sea. Morning. Morning. We had another peaceful night's sleep on Havar. Slept so good actually. Uh, quite full, lots of nice walks, lots of enjoying Havar town. Um, there's definitely more to it than just a party yacht town, especially yeah, when you come out of season. Definitely. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, look at the view behind us. But yeah, we're going to head <laughs> off to some waterfalls and some national parks on our next video, I think. So we will see you then. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you on. Well, see you in the next video. See you in the next adventure. Yeah, see you later. See you here. Bye. Ya, bye.